Hey guys, what's up? This is Zelda Game 314, and we're on to our next part of this Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2 Let's Play. And when we last left off, we just beat Android 19 with Vegeta, and we are now in pursuit of Android 20. And first thing I'm going to do is actually switch back to Vegeta because he's the best fighter to this point. And I believe that you fight. Android 20 very soon. So what you do next is you head north to reach this flying pad and there you run into Android 20. Yeah. And um pretty much all you all you're doing is trying to get his held down to a certain point and he'll run from that point. Come on! There we go. Alright, move. Oh! 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 Ah, 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 ah. I'm gonna die. Gotta get some space between this man. He's breaking souls. Hit him with that big bang. Hello? Look at that little blast count. How can that cancel out the big bang? This makes no there we go. Just needed one more hit. <laughs> okay. What a waste of technology. I don't understand. My data indicates that your abilities could not have improved this much. Your data may have been accurate if we hadn't been warned of your arrival three years before you got here. In other words, we've been preparing for you. Hey guys, look, Trunks is here. And Trunks enters the scene. Trunks, how bizarre. This guy has the same name as my... My son. I should have known. A Super Saiyan from the future? Of course, it has to be. He's my son. Unbelievable. Now what? Not another one. I don't have any data on this one. What is going on here? I've made far too many errors in my calculation. What's going on here? This isn't one of the androids from my future. This one's different. What? How can that be? I'm not sure. This is mind boggling. Maybe history changed. And it changed the appearance of the androids. Either that or but this is just the first generation, and there are more on the way. Enjoy your short-lived victory while you are able, for I will unleash Android 17 and 18 to destroy you all. 17 and 18. I think that Android was Dr. Jerome. Dr. Jerome, how could you possibly know a thing like that? I know what I saw, Vegeta. I've seen his pictures before in one of my dad's science magazines. It was a picture of the old, of that old guy, and underneath it is a big bold letter that said, Dr. Jero, you told us a pack of lies. Curse you, boy. You said Dr. Jero was destroyed by the androids he created. You didn't tell us he turned himself into one. The timeline as I know it must have changed when I traveled here from the future. Oh, man, I was afraid this was going to happen, but it was a calculated risk I had to take. What if those androids that Dr. Jero mentioned are the ones that you know? Do the androids in your timeline absorb energy attacks like the first two? No, they don't need to. Their energy lasts forever. What? That's preposterous. They have to run out of energy sometimes. Hey, how come Goku isn't here right now? Well, he came down with that weird heart virus. He went home to get that endo that you gave him. I can't believe history has slipped up this much. Boma, do you know where Dr. Jero's lab is? Well, now that you mention it, I think I remember reading that Dr. Jero's lab was hidden in a cave somewhere in the northern mountains. Alright, let's go find that lab. And you get the world map, and you travel up to Dr. Jero's lab. And looking a little low on health. There we go. That should be fine for now. And we're going to head to the northern mountains.
And the thing about the Northern Mountains is Dr. Jarrell's lab is guarded by an electrical gate. And I believe that there are three switches that you need to hit in order to unlock them. Okay. Let's head up this way. Okay, this will go on to pass through. So we're gonna eventually have to grind Gohan up to 25 too, so that he can enter through that. And we almost looked up. Whoa! Big bang attack! Here we go. Vegeta has achieved level 20. And, alright. There we go. And we're going to proceed up to this northern part. And right here, first time seeing these Hawk guys. I think they're Hawks. Let me see. Yeah, Hawks. And the thing about this is later on in the game, you can get fish from the Hawks. And you can trade them into corn for sensor beams. Alright, next, let's go up to here. And there you'll find a bunch of wild boars. Alright, take care of them. This is for Piccolo. So we're gonna have to grind Piccolo up to level 30. I can't kill one of these guys to get a fish. Nope. Come ahead up here. And you see a lot of tracks. And there is a capsule. Plus three power capsule. And right here you run into Dr. Jerome. You're trying to find my secret lab, aren't you? Even if you find it, you'll never get inside. Come on. Wow. Such a nuisance to fight. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we avoided dying there. Okay, and get to a save point, and eat a couple pieces of chicken, and let's go over here and check. Alright, take these tiger bandits out, and right here I think it's bear from Goku. Yep, on the go, who is allowed to pass through that barrier. So we'll have to come back to that later. And actually, I'm just going to make this short episode, and so I'm going to end it here. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, as always. And I'm out.